Uh, I'm gonna make a distinction between you know the orthodox, unorthodox Muslim, uh, in the nation of Islam, and you know their beliefs, because you know Muslims, they feel that Muhammad is the last prophet, and that you must you know pledge your allegiance to Muhammad in uh, Allah. Long story short, but the nation of Islam teaches that W. D. Farah was Allah in the flesh, in the flesh, and that Elijah Muhammad is the prophet, and so you know. Uh, you said you heard. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaching that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is a prophet. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has never in the history of the teachings of the Nation of Islam uttered any such word. I can tell you that as a fact. We have never ever called the Honorable Elijah Muhammad a prophet. We refer to him as the Messenger of Allah. I'm going to make a distinction between, you know, the orthodox, unorthodox Muslim uh, in the nation of Islam and, you know, their beliefs. Because, you know, Muslims, they feel that Muhammad is the last prophet and that you must, you know, pledge your allegiance to Muhammad in uh, Allah, long story short. But the nation of Islam teaches that W.D. Farah was Allah in the flesh, in the flesh and that Elijah Muhammad is the prophet. And so, you know, uh, that don't fly over there in the Middle East. So, you know, Muhammad... He had to be on a platter if he would have went to the Middle East talking. But, um, continue. On behalf of the Muslim world, we have the Grand Sheikh of Cyprus, the Grand Sheikh Mohammed Subhi Bello, the Grand Sheikh from Egypt and the Vice President of Al Azhar University, Sheikh Abu Al Azaim, and the Grand Sheikh of Yemen, Sheikh Abu Ghazala. And our Sheikh from Ghana and Nigeria, Dr. Abdul Razak Tahir, who want to show their admiration, and, brother, uh, and our Sheikh Yusuf Shibli, who want to show their appreciation for the leadership of our brother, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, by recognizing him as an Imam of the Muslim world. Subhanallah!